Thanks for joining us here on World Tech Update. I'm Nick Barber. This week we'll start with Microsoft in New York, where Steve Ballmer launched Office 365, a suite of cloud-based productivity applications. We believe that effective collaboration is a lot more than good group dynamics. It's a matter of instant access to relevant information, of ideas flowing freely, and of the right people taking the right action at the right time. Starting today, Office 365 will deliver on those promises and is available in over 40 different geographies around the globe, with more to come. Officials demonstrated Office 365 capabilities like the ability for multiple users to jointly collaborate and edit documents in real time, not only from PC browsers, but also from mobile devices. Office 365 offers customers the option to have Office productivity applications like Word and Excel either through Office web apps or through the full-fledged on-premise Office Professional Plus through subscription. Users can work on documents together while holding an online meeting with multiple people or in a one-on-one -on -one video chat. Document editing features and messaging functions can also be accessed via mobile phone. Office 365 comes with a wide range of configuration and price options starting from an email-only version that costs $2 per user per month to the most sophisticated option, which costs $27 per user per month. The gaming industry has won a significant victory as the U.S. Supreme Court has struck down a ruling that prohibited the sale or rental of violent video games to minors. Video games qualify for First Amendment protection, said Justice Antonin Scalia. Like protected books, plays, and movies, they communicate ideas through familiar literary devices and features distinctive to the medium. Reading Dante is unquestionably more cultured and intellectually edifying than playing Mortal Kombat, but these cultural and intellectual differences are not constitutional ones. Justice Samuel Alito and Chief Justice John Roberts suggested that members of the government and courts make every effort to understand the new technology presented in these sophisticated video games. At the beginning of this year, we told you how Egypt literally shut off the country's internet amid protest rallies against the government. Well, now the country's IT chief is traveling to U.S. cities to meet with IT companies to try to drum up business for the country. And he promised that the decision to kill the internet will never happen again. The move was stunning for a country of 80 million that has worked to develop its IT sector, attracting Microsoft, Oracle, and HP, which built offices in the capital's high-tech office park. News Corp took a huge hit this week when it sold MySpace for an estimated 30 to 40 million dollars. The company picked up the social networking site in 2005 for 580 million. That was of course before it was eclipsed by Facebook. You're all probably familiar with the dash mounted cameras on police cars, but the next generation of the technology has cops wearing the cameras, which allows them to record audio and video regardless of location. The Taser Axon is a small wearable camera that mounts on a user's ear and captures audio and video as well as GPS location. You'll see how useful it can be in capturing evidence in this DUI stop that led to a foot chase. I haven't been drinking. You haven't been drinking? No. Okay. What do you think I'm pissed? Yeah. If I was drinking, I'd just go walk right to your car and be like, oh, okay, here you go. Okay, well, let's just do a couple of tests, and if you're good to go, then we'll cut you loose, okay? You want to talk to him for a little bit? Stupid! Why, why in the f do I even have to talk to you guys? I didn't do nothing. I've been parked here. Right. I'm just getting groceries. No, stop! We're teasing you! Stop! Right now! Users turn on and off the device on its comm hub, and the device has a 30-second buffer, which means once the record button is pressed, it already has captured what's happened 30 seconds before. The system includes the camera, comm hub, and tactical computer, all of which are worn. The Taser Axon costs about $1,700, and online storage and archiving is another $1,300. Visitors to the Getty Museum in Los Angeles can now use Google Goggles to get more information on the artwork housed there. After taking a picture of a painting, the app takes users to the Getty's mobile-optimized website. There, users will be able to not only read extra information that can't fit next to the painting, but they'll also be able to listen to audio commentary from artists, curators, and even the painting itself. 
Well, that's our show for this week. Thanks for joining us here on World Tech Update. Next week, Martin will be hosting from Japan, so be sure to stay tuned for all the latest tech news. To find out what's coming up, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. As we head out this week, we'll leave you with shots of the Solar Impulse, a solar-powered airplane that debuted at the Paris Air Show. I'm Nick Barber, and for all of us here at the IDG News Service, thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next week.